What's up everybody, it's Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com and today we're going to be looking at the quarter. What's up everybody, it's Concrete Zebu, Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio1Tutorials.com today and get your premium membership for exclusive tutorials and bonus member content. Now today we're going to be looking at some of that bonus member content. It is going to be a preset that I created for the quarter. Um, the quarter is uh, a note effect that Studio One designed to make a programming music a lot more easy when i first started using um studio one version three i had such a um, locked in workflow from using 2.6 for so long that i really hadn't messed with the, the mini based effects but uh you know a few of the subscribers have showed me some things and i figured that you know i i know when i was working in um there's a certain point in my music where something like the quarter would have been um, a godsend so I started going through it and the thing that I did not it, that it really didn't connect with me was the sounds of the chords the way that the chords are set up they're not um, the stock ones they don't really work well with the type of music that I make and I I know that you know you guys follow the channel because we we make similar music so i figured maybe you guys had came across that same wall and maybe that's why i don't hear a lot about this thing so what i did was i programmed a preset and what i'm going to be doing in the future is programming more of these um that i'm going to be giving away to subscribers of studio one tutorials.com that's just going to make this a lot easier so so say the way that you initialize this is say we want to put it on on this ep, on this um instance of silence you go ahead and you click this track and you want to bring up the inspector view either by clicking here or by pressing i then you'll see right here right below your vst it'll say note effects if you hover over the plus and click it you have a choice for an arpeggiator the quarter the input filter or the repeater so i'm going to go ahead and select the quarter now i have i've already saved this preset went ahead and this is my a minor template or a minor template and what this is is this is all this is all the chords in a minor in two octaves but they're this is the key they're inverted in a way that makes sense for how they're actually used in music production um you know rather than rather than just going one three five one three five one three five the whole way up you know no nobody writes songs like that so let's just the way that this works is all you have to do is press is press a key and it's and it's going to play the whole chord so for example here's our one chord Now you see, once I get to the three, I have an inversion there. Normally, this note would be would be played higher up here in in you know in the in the stock version. See, so you can see the the notes that I'm the notes that you're playing. Um, as your single notes, those are those are your um. These are your actual bass notes of the chord, but again, they're inverted in such a way that it makes sense to to actually use this in a production. So if you're having problems coming up with uh, with chord progressions, um, this this could actually wind up being a great tool because you can take and you know the sky's really the limit here when you go and say you're looking on a forum or something and they tell you it's a one four six progression and you know all right well i have i have this tool right here i know that a is my one b is my two c is my three and d is my four so i know that i'm gonna go a d to f and then you could go ahead and listen to that And then be like, okay, wow, I like the I like the way that that sounds. Let me go ahead and write with that progression. You know, you can um, 
this is how you know this is how it works with you know with your MIDI keyboard. And it can it can work with any instrument. I have it loaded up on this piano down here. You can go ahead and use it here. And it's really as simple as that. So I'm going to be go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and load this file up into the Dropbox for the subscribers of studio1tutorials.com and all you have to do in order to in order to use this is we're going to go ahead and find this file and you just you could just go ahead and follow these steps so we'll just go and search our drive What I'm looking for is that is the Studio One tutorials file. Let's see here. Okay, so the way that the way the Presonus puts this on your computer is wherever you have wherever you ha have installed this is going to be different on everybody's computer um wherever you've installed your studio one files you're going to find you're going to find a presets folder and then it's going to say it's going to say quarter so if you want to just search the the folder quarter maybe that'll work out better for you and then what you're going to do then what you're going to do is once you find that folder you're going to download this to you're going to download this folder to your desktop drag this folder into this into where this says quarter and once you do that you'll be able you'll be able to open up this preset menu you'll see studio one tutorials and you'll see this and then you want to make a note of this process because as i create more and more of these chord sets for for you guys to use in your productions um, this folder is just going to grow and grow. So go ahead and stop by studio1tutorials.com if you're not already a member. Uh, go ahead and get yourself a membership, to, even if you just want to try it out for a month and take advantage of take advantage of the exclusive tutorials and the bonus content. We got a lot of stuff going in that Dropbox right now. I've got um, the drums from the six samples. I've got the drums from the six MIDI. I've got the 25 presets for my tie i've got the energy curves information for arrangements on the track um and it's just growing day by day you know the more time i spend with it the more stuff we're putting in there so and members you know go ahead and just remember follow those steps and you know have have fun with uh with making your music this is just one step to make everything just a little bit easier for you guys and you know that's what i'm all about so this is concrete zebra with craft master productions studio one tutorials.com don't forget to stop by studio one tutorials.com and get your premium membership and your bonus content keep it simple don't be basic and we'll see you on the next one